Two Broke Rednecks presents Thanos, The Hands of Fate. What the hell is this shit? We're almost there, honey. Just a little while longer than your vacation starts. I'm getting cold, mother, and hungry. You're always needing stuff, you little twit. She's picking up the crappy music channel on that dog. It should be pretty close right now. The agent said it was about 12 miles from Highway 10, and that was Highway 10 back there. But you know, we should have asked for better directions at the last gas station. Listen, I've never gotten us lost before. Typical man won't ask for directions even when he can't find his butt with both hands and a flashlight. Okay, Debbie, I'll put the top up. Never mind, Mike. Debbie can come up and sit between us. And it's Debbie for the cop block. Now that's better, baby. Why don't we sing a song to help pass the time? How about hmm? you don't and save us from the torture? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but down a dream. Merrily, this film is making my eyes bleed. Life is but a dream. Merrily, 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 life is but down the stream. Merrily, 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 life. La 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 la, just cruising through rural El Paso. So it's hands, hands of fate? It's the cops! Hide the weed! They're arresting Hal Warren for making this film. All right, mister. I see you have a taillight problem. No excuse. Running late, first vacation, kid getting tired. It's too bad. So, can't you give us a break, officer? Well, all right, all right. I sure do appreciate it. We are running kind of late. Okay, but if you're running late, you should have started earlier. And Anyhow, ask for direction. No tail light. Have it fixed. Thank you, officer. Wow. Don't you just hate it when Grandma makes you watch videos of her bus trip? This is all there is to this film, a whole hour of nothingness. Inside Make the hurdy music stop! Your head up high Use this strength I have within It's real and not lie Then we're gonna leave you for dead. See the way I really love you. Try. We'll have a ball. I had to dance all around. I knew before when it all. My head is gonna explode from this shitty music. like Siamese twins joined at the lips. You, you need more oh, robot Yeah. Come over here for Hey girl, do you hear what I'm saying? Make it stop! Just believe that it's not all so wrong. There's a reason I'm singing this song. Nothing like the taste of whiskey breath. Do you want to do anything? I don't want to do a damn thing with you. Come on and do a thing with me. Pretty sure. I wonder where they're going. Man, like there's nothing up that road. Except the master's old place. Oh. 
see the USA in your Chevrolet. Can he stop the car and let us have this film? Now look, the sign pointed this way. Mark, let's go back to the crossroads and ask those kids we saw. Okay, okay, but I know we can't be wrong. Look, the sign pointed this way. We get it, the sign pointed this way. just saw this! Maybe he's going out in the desert to bury the master copy of this film. couple times to fill time in this film. You'd think we're doing something wrong. Well, whatever it is you're not doing, go don't do it somewhere else. Maybe get a room. Why don't you guys leave us alone? What a bitch. Come on now, no wisecracks. Just go on home. Okay. Get going, get going. Right already. We're gonna go a mile up the road, okay? And if the film ended here with the line they were never heard from again, that would be great. It's a gratuitous bush shot. I could have sworn we didn't make a wrong turn. You must have. Where did the road go? No need it's to right set. there. You'll find it. You're on it. Where did this place come from? It wasn't here a few minutes ago. I it's one of those modular jobs. Look, it's vaguely Chuck it's Norris. Great, now I gotta deal with these assholes. Is he doing what I think he's doing? Don't look, Debbie! It's the real star of the film. Torgo, stop whacking off. I am Torgo. I take care of the place while the master is away. But the child, I'm not sure the master would approve. Or the dog. The master doesn't like children. And he likes his we dogs. Only well done. Where Valley Lodge is. Which way do we go? There is no place like that around here. 
He got his suit from the talking heads. Mike, I'm scared. It's getting dark. Well, Targo, which way is out of here? There is no way out of here. It will be dark soon. There is no way out of here. What's your favorite movie? No way out. Well, you know, we, we could spend the night here, and then oh, tomorrow my, we can... Oh, I, I don't want to spend the night here. I don't like the looks of the place. Well, it's I'm right here, no you know. Well, how about it, Torgo? Can we spend the night here? Well, I don't know what else we can do. Do you smell Mike, what I the Torgo is cooking? Here. And the master wouldn't approve. Don't worry about it. We're here now, and I'm sure the master won't throw us out. And it's not like well, we're going to start a fight between his wives. I don't want to stay. Let's leave. I don't know about it. I just don't know. The ending to Sweeney Todd has me confused. Whiny! Dummy! Torgy! Dude, stop scratching your butt. Dad, I'm cold. Going. Well, Torgo, in or out? Hey, well, you gotta dear. bend over first. Very well. The master will be very disturbed. I'll get the, the luggage. Torga has been drinking since noon. Torga, we'll stay tonight and then tomorrow. You must be. You cannot stay. The master would not uh, approve. <laughs> Torgo and Adventures of a Drunken Bellhop. Torgo, I love what you've done with the place. Who's your designer? See, you're feeling better already. Look at this. It's Frank Zappa. Little staggering around music. How much has that guy had to drink today? Mommy, don't ask any questions, but Peppy and I need to get married. This has to be the strangest Mothers of Invention album cover. Are you sure it's not Freddie Mercury? Sinister. Must be the master himself. How many times are they going to look at this painting? He has the meanest look. That dog. I'd hate to run up on him in the dark or even in the light for that matter. I'd hate to run up on this film in the dark or the light for that matter. I walk like Torgo from time to time. Mommy, Peppy peed on me. That must be your master. Where did you say he was? Asleep in the basement. He has left this world. But he is with us always. No matter where we go, he is with us. 
Maybe what? it's a pale skin no, cryo right. Santana. What does that mean? That dog is the most vicious looking animal I've ever seen. Well, I hope he goes where the master goes. There Which is, is every bush fear, I madam. see. The master likes you. Nothing will happen to you. He likes you. Likes me? I thought you said he was dead. Dead? No, madam, not dead the way you know it. He is with us always. Whoever that not is, he's rocking that stash. You know he is with us always. Mike, I don't like this. Nothing to worry about, it's only your imagination. Remember when you were seeing those elves? I take your medication. We're going to do the Harlem Shake any second now. I Man, Dork is fast when he wants to be. To the bedroom now. Oh, oh my God. Lassie's getting laid. Probably some animal in the desert. Nothing to be afraid of. I'm scared, Mike. Well, it lulled Debbie to sleep. Michael, I don't care what it is. Chase it away. Okay, if it'll make you relax, I'll go out and see what it is. Sounds like a gimp in pain. Sick him, Peppy. Get back into the house. To the dance mobile. Well, time to shoot the wife. Someone lost their merkin. Get back in the house, damn it! My God, Mike, what happened? He's dead. Peppy's been killed. But on the upside, I'm finally able house, to complete honey. my poodle skin coat. What kind of place is this? My God, what kind of place is this? It's a house that's falling apart, but that's not important. Now to ask Torgo, this place has a grill. Mike, oh Mike, what could have done it? Uh. Honey, it was probably some animal from the desert. This place must be full of them. Kirby? You went away, baby. You went away while you were asleep. But now we have burgers! Mike, I want to leave this place. Now. Okay, honey, we'll leave right away. Where the hell is that caretaker? Targo! Targo! Did you want you to leave? We're leaving. Would you mind putting the luggage back in the car? As you wish. Man, this guy's bossy. Right now. Fast, damn it. Fast. You're flooding it. Helps if you turn the flashlight on.
I'll be glad to leave. I've had all of this place I want. Madam, it will be very dangerous to leave now. The master wants you. Wants me? What kind of talk is that? He wants you for his wife. He loves beautiful women. Well, Mike is kind of a smuck, and this does seem like a pretty good offer. Don't you hate it when your creepy drunk uncle fondles you? Well, I jizzed my pants. Don't you ever try that again, you beast! The master wants you, but he can't have you. I want you. Stop that talk this instant, you hear? He wants you, but he can't have you. I rebuilt the entire engine and I still have extra pieces to build another. Damn, she's bossy. He might be best to let the master have her anyway. I meant no harm. Forgive you. Just wait till I tell my husband. I meant no harm, madam. I'll protect you. I will protect you. Very well. I won't tell my husband. Now let me out. Debbie needs to get her lazy ass off the couch. The car won't start. Margaret? Damn car won't start. Well, that really fixes things. What are we going to do now? I don't know, and I couldn't find anything wrong with it either. Hey, Torgo, where's the phone? Oh, God, next he'll want me to cook for him. Yes, Alexander Graham Bell, you know, telephone. There is none, sir. The master doesn't approve of such devices. The, then where is the nearest phone? The nearest phone is at the crossroads. That's ten miles. Ten miles? Might as well be ten thousand miles. Easy, honey. I up would and walk ten thousand miles. The master won't mind you staying tonight. He has no choice. We can't leave. We can't walk out of here. The damn car won't start. Hm. I'll just bring the bags back to the room. Sinister. Maybe it's a Sinister white line isn't descriptive enough. Honey, we'll leave in the morning and soon this place will be forgotten. Forgotten? I'll never forget. The roofies I plan to slip you might help. I just hope Debbie will understand. She'll understand. She's my baby. She'll understand. I hope so, darling. I sure hope so. She's my baby. She'll understand. Repeat yourself much? Say, where is she? About time she got off that oh couch. Oh, my God! Michael! Now don't get wrought up. She's probably playing hide and seek. Okay, Debbie, we see you. Come out, come out wherever you are. Maybe she slipped into one of the rooms. Debbie? 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 Debbie! Torgo, have you seen Debbie? No. She's gone. Help us find her. She couldn't have gone outside. The door is bolted. For God's sake, don't panic. She's got to be in here. Is there another exit to the outside? In the kitchen. 
but don't expect me to cook for you. That door's bolted, too. Outside, Mike. She's got to be outside. All right, we'll look outside for her. This Debbie? film has lens Debbie? flare. Debbie? Debbie? Mike, I'm scared. The animals in the desert... Cut it out! <laughs> I really didn't need to see your crotch. <laughs> We'll find her. Don't worry. Well, you're doing a bang up job looking for her. Debbie? Debbie? The dog from the portrait. Stand and back, Debbie. Sci -fi Stand channel back. Lighting. <laughs> Darling, baby, you could have been hurt. <laughs> but you should never run away from us. Debbie, don't ever run away from us. When did this you become know, a Sid Davis film? Where did you find the new dog, baby? In a big place. In a big place? Where, Debbie? There was this big, dry place. It was so dark, but I wasn't afraid of the dark. I had all kinds of funny people in it. Where is the place, Debbie? Over here, Daddy. <laughs> I know, their fashion sense is hideous. Get in the bedroom and lock yourself in. I'm going to find Torgo. He's got some explaining to do. Hurry, please, hurry. Ooh, someone got some explaining to do. I want her. She's mine, mine, mine. Do you hear? I want this one. You have all the wives you need. She's mine. Go! This week on LeBron and Shirley, the girls tie bondage. Oh, you pretty ones. Let me see how good you are. I won't need you anymore. I have my own wife. I won't have to come in here to dream of having one of you. You, you're the worst. You were his first wife. He doesn't want you anymore. Now even I don't want you. You're not so fresh. Torgo has a hair fetish. I smell tuna. with all of you. Do you hear me?
Clap, clap, clap. Ah, creepy red face. Corgo likey. How Debbie does is sleep on things. Tap. Torgo's gonna get laid. Goes into some kiki bondage. Let me get this straight. There's no way out of here, yet there is a utility pole. What are there? Hordes of lost utility workers left to die out here? Off in the distance, start spotting a gorn. Well, he's secure. Time to go marry Mike's wife. We've been moved. This evil lair has good airflow. Good thing he bought a temper of Hedic. He has such a crick in his neck. That's what, the eighth time we saw this painting? La la la, here we are, filling time in the film. Not the Robitussin again. They both must have really bad coughs, the way they're downing in that cough syrup. Again, how many times do you have to be told? Uh, I don't know. Have a heart, will you? Go chase that other couple. They had shovels what and a dead couple? body. Those idiots that went deeper in the desert. Find them and chew on them a while. We know that this road goes nowhere. So now get. No smart stuff. We ain't trying to jump on you. Just get. And they go one mile up the road and resume making it out. When will this movie end?
Like we need the moon to tell us it's dark. The lighting of the film does that. Thou of primal darkness, thou who dwellest in the depth of the universe in the black chasms of night. Looks like he's posing for his driver's license photo. Hooray! They're burning the rest of the film! Damn it. Thou who bestoweth the mother darkness upon thy faithful to live eternally in her keeping, thou dost make him most blessed forever. Is he trying to feel himself up? And thou who dost curse with eternal burning light those who transgress against thee. Holy art thou, stone. holy art thou, holy art thou, Manos will be done. Thy priesthood remains steadfast, thy priesthood remains constant, thy priesthood remains righteous. Thou hast taught us, O Manos, and we have listened. We now spread our wings and fly! Hear us, hear us, hear us, for we are faithful and thou art our God. Arise, my wives, give ear to the words of Manos. Arise, my wives, and hear the will of Manos. Arise, my wives, and Manos just gave me one hell of a boner. My God, they're bitches. I liked them better when they were asleep. Why has the child been brought here? Because her father is an idiot. And a female child at that. She will grow up to be a woman. And as the oldest of her wives, I demand that she will live. It doesn't matter if she was brought here or she must be killed. The child will know she will grow up to be a woman. And as the oldest of her wives, I... I have never complained about sacrificing a man. But a child? The woman is all we want. The others must die. That's a little harsh. They all must die. We do not even want the woman. The child is a female. She must not be destroyed. She will grow up to be a woman. She must be killed. No. I am the no. oldest of the wives, and it is my privilege to say that. Enough! Enough of this stupid bickering. A child must die. So this is a Sid Davis you film. In this foolishness, your usefulness will have come to an end. Say what you That's will. awful rude no to the waitress. She lives. I say she must die. I don't know what they're doing here in the first place. Torgo should never have allowed them in, and I want... You have caused enough trouble. I think perhaps your service to us is at its end now. Silence! Silence! And now, my wives, I shall deal with the one who is responsible for the child being here. Torgo! He's the one! Get Torgo! You are responsible for this nonsense. We shall dispose of you later. So wives are disposable? It is a terrible mistake. The man, yes. The child, no. Maybe she's right. Maybe we should spare the child. It is against our will that we stay here. Do not make the child die to satisfy him. He does not need any more wives. Yes, he has no more time. Older wives. Just what a the bitch. newer. Huh. Jealousy is not part of us. Why are you so jealous of me? You are a troublemaker. You deserve to die. That has to be the worst face slap die. in the history of film. I may ever. die, but I do not care. The child must live. She is right. We will not kill the child. But Manos would not approve. 
The law of Manos exists for us only. Manos loves women. She will grow up to be a woman. She may. Now swing your partner around and round. When the master hears of this, he will be furious. You are all mad, mad, the whole lot of you. The man, yes, the child, no. I think your mud pit dried out. People paid to see this? What the hell? This is better than Sister Wives. Really is better than any reality TV show, especially with the Kardashians. How long does this go on? Forever. Is Torgo sleeping on a pile of dirt? Cider, get some sleep. What are you doing here? I live in the basement, remember? You have failed us, Torgo. I know of your visits to the tomb. My visits? The women have told me. And they my first wife's not happy about that tuna remark. When you're there. But they remember everything you say to them. And everything you do to them. But, Master, you have six wives. Why can't I have one for myself? I already fapped it to her. I called it. Therefore, you cannot have one of them. Yes, but I have one now. This one is mine. You'll never get her. You have failed us, Torgo. For this, you must die. Fail you? No. You have failed yourselves. You never kill them. I'll help them. You have failed, and you must die. People seem to repeat themselves a lot in this film. Come here and give the master a kiss. Crack a window if you're going to fart like that.
<laughs> Manos, God of primal darkness. And lousy fashion sense. As thou hast decreed, so have I done. The hands of fate have doomed this man. Thy will is done. I can see her bra. Damn, everyone's getting laid by Mike. Get up, you lazy bum! We now return to dust wrestling already in progress. What is this, lesbian porn? Don't you hate it when you're awakened by a coyote orgy? Michael, where are you? He's tied up at the moment. is this? Manos must be served! He needs there his breakfast. Are. She is the one. She has upset all of our plans. This foolishness must stop! I think we've established the fact your robe has hands on it. There's been enough trouble. Our purpose must be served. There will be no further insolence. But the child... We cannot kill a child! Yes, we can! You have caused enough trouble. As soon as we have disposed of Torgo, we shall take care of you. It's better to recycle your satyrs. Your satyrs fails you. I have no more fear. Seize her and prepare her for sacrifice.
How do you like your steak? Well done, my wives. The will of Manus shall be served. Make the scary fapping satyr go away. It is the will of Manos that he be sacrificed. By interpretive dance. She just saw the completed version of this film. So, Rook, the death by a group of women. Can't think of a better way to go. Mike, help us! Oh my god! <laughs> Get up, useless! Horrible. What? Torgo being killed? No, this film. Margaret, open the door. He was yelling that on his wedding night. Margaret, open the door. Enough! The ceremony is done. Now slip him a roofie so he doesn't remember the whole thing. No, that's my fapping hand. <laughs> and Torgo never fapped it again. <laughs> Killing doesn't help anymore. You're all finished. <laughs> You've said enough! Your turn will come as soon as we have disposed of the others! Go find the others! Hurry, before the night slips away! <laughs> Mike, I saw him at that 
window. Okay, honey, we'll leave, we'll leave. We've got to leave now. I can't stand it any longer. Please, Mike. We'll hide in the desert. Someone will help. Great plan, Einstein. And if coyotes don't God, get you, you thirst and starvation you. will. Your power fails. You cannot endure. Destroy. <laughs> the gods destroy me. <laughs> <laughs> Destroy me. I am permanent. Minos has made me permanent. Your power fails you. You are losing your control. Even Torgo defied you. And he was destroyed even as you shall be. Your power does not affect me anymore. Even your other wives do not trust you. <laughs> See, I do not fear you, even though you beat me. Beat me again. Beat! Beat! <laughs> I do not fear you. <laughs> It's Pimp Slap a Ho time! I can't go on! Take Debbie and run! No, darling, we'll make it. Let's go. I want to be there when the coyotes rip out your entrails. Nothing up that way. Let, let, let's go this way. <coughs> what? He's useless as usual. You falling down drunk all the time. Where are you going? They have gone. They have left the house. That raid really does get rid of roaches. We have searched everywhere. Find them. They must not escape. Man, he's bossy. No, leave him alone. We cannot kill a child. Enough talk. Find them. Manos will be served. You'd get a lot further if Margaret quit falling down all the time. <laughs> I can't make it, Mike. Okay, nice knowing you. I can't make it. Save baby. Save Debbie. This has to be the worst game of hide and seek ever. Hold on, haven't shown the hands in my robe in a while. No, Maggie, we can make it. We'll rest here for a minute. We can make it. Let's go back. They'll never think of looking for us at the house. You know, you might have a point there. Please, Mike. Please, I can't go any farther. Listen, we can lock ourselves in the kitchen. I have my gun. It goes bang when I pointed at things. 
see. We'll have to go back. Now you're out of bullets. Okay. It might be the safest place, especially since they're out here looking for us. <laughs> Gary, I'm scared. Where's my puppy? Coyote, you say that. Now shut the hell up. That sure sounded like shots. We'd better check. This hour of the night, there can't be anybody out here. This is the boondock. Well, sound does travel a long way at night. It could be clear over in Mexico, for that matter. Yeah, Mexico. That's it. Hey Earl, let's go harass those kids making out in that car again. Even the dog is ashamed to be in this film. He must learn marksmanship from the stormtrooper. but this one should be great. Yeah, the gang's coming up for the weekend. What a blast. Now we get to watch gangland footage. Just on a dirt road, and now it's paved. Back to a dirt road. They must be homeless and live in that little car on the dirt road. Welcome. I am Michael. I take care of the place while the master is away. Thank God that horrible torment is over. 
Now, let's burn the film. I'd like to thank Hal P. Warren's son, Joe Neil Warren, for giving us his blessing for this film, as well as our subscribers like you, and those of you who view our videos but do not subscribe. We appreciate it, folks. Thanks, guys. Subscribe if you still haven't, and be sure to check out my channel, Guild Wars Girl 17. Thanks, and bye. This has been a Two Broke Rednecks Presents project. Dear Broke Rednecks, we don't make bad movies, we make bad movies better.